This is definitely a mystery. This right here is Southwest 8th Avenue. Around 10 o'clock, about 20 after or so, a car came off the road and flying through this vacant lot here. There was a fence right here. The car just blew right through that fence. You can see pieces of the fence on the ground. There was a car parked here in the driveway. This is that car on the side over here. You can see where the impact was. It just crushed the side, pushed this car into this tree. The original car that was coming off of the road then smashed into the side of the house. You can see all of the damage right here. Like you mentioned, when police arrived, they thought they had a drug overdose, but it turned out they found that the man had been shot in the back of the head. He has been killed. When this car hit this side of the house right here, there were two people who had been sitting right here who had run for their lives. I was sitting here in this chair here, and my friend was sitting in the brown chair there at the door. And I heard the gunshots coming somewhere down the road. And we jumped up immediately, ran inside the house, fell on the ground, and dialed 911. I didn't see the incident, I heard it, because I wasn't going to get up until I heard the police was out here. And when we came outside, this is what we came out and saw. And now you're looking at a picture of the victim. His name is Roy Criscione. He's standing in front of the car that wound up crashing into this home in Delray Beach. He was again shot Saturday night around 20 after 10. He turned 29 years old on Sunday, and then he died Monday afternoon. Again, police have no idea what happened here. They don't know if he was shot in the car, if he was shot before he got in the car and then tried to drive away. They don't know who shot him. They don't know why he was shot. If you have any information at all about this homicide, please call the Delray Beach Police Department. That's the very latest reporting live in Delray Beach. Ari Height, WPBF 25 News. Uh